Well, here's a relationship that is neck deep in water, China and the United States. There's been a lot of turbulence over tariff. Now it has spilled on to travel. The Chinese embassy in Washington has issued a security advisory to its nationals traveling to America. They've been told to be aware of public shootings, of robberies, searches, fraud and expensive medical bills in the U.S. The Chinese nationals traveling to America have been told to remain alert to their surroundings and suspicious individuals to avoid going out alone at night. A similar alert was sounded in January this year. So how did we get to this point where the world's two largest economies are not ready to trust one another with the safety of their citizens? It all started with Donald Trump's decision to impose 25% tariff on Chinese goods worth $50 billion. It triggered a trade war. Trump's tariff grandstanding really was the catalyst. In response, an angry China slapped tariffs worth $34 billion on 545 American goods. This tit-for-tat diplomacy continued and last month Donald Trump warned that if Beijing went through with the tariffs, he would impose additional tariffs, additional taxes on American goods worth $200 billion. And so it goes. China says it will retaliate to any kind of provocation from America. But China also wants the world to believe that the intent of its advisory has nothing to do with politics. It says that the summer is peak time for Chinese to travel to the U.S. and that its argument, though, does not cut much ice with experts who believe that China usually adopts such measures to settle political scores. One such example is that of South Korea. And it's fresh in the public memory. In 2017, China banned all group tours to South Korea because Seoul's decision to install the U.S. Thermal High Altitude Area Defense System, better known as the THAAD. It's an anti-missile defense system. China fears that this defense system has a powerful radar and the U.S. is breaching its turf.